When your stabilizers efficiently align your joints better, there's less sloppiness in your joints, there's crisper coordination and crisper contraction. So there's a good chance you didn't get stronger in your prime movers. You became more efficient in your integrity. And efficiency is another way to get stronger. So if you're sloppy in your moves, there's a lot of people who have enough muscle to muscle through it. But there's also a lot of room for improvement if they don't get one ounce stronger. Remember this, first four weeks of strength training, your cellular metabolism and your cellular structure doesn't change. You have sometimes the biggest strength gains you ever will when you introduce a new move and hit it for four weeks. And yet if we do a tissue biopsy, we don't see a big difference in your muscle. When you get the test on the NSCA exam, you're supposed to say, neural factors, okay? <laughs> now you're smart. All right, what that's basically us all admitting right off the bat is there's a significant amount of inefficiency in the system. Long before tissue feels the need to adapt, the neuromuscular platform, your timing, coordination, and motor control will refine itself. Guess when it won't refine itself? When you don't spend enough friggin' time doing it. Don't rush through the get up. Don't rush through the chop and lift. Don't rush through the frustration they're going to have in single leg deadlifting. Let them be frustrated. Let them be wobbly. If they don't make the mistake, they can't feel it when it's right. So be safe. But every one of these exercises used correctly will create a little bit of anxiety and frustration. So what's the role of the coach here? Have a lot of jokes. Smile a lot. Remind them to breathe, okay? Oh, that's better. <laughs> breathe. Make sure they know what they're doing and then keep it light. They're going to have enough anxiety without you saying, engage something. The movement should tell them what to engage. If Brad doesn't fall over in his chop, if he doesn't know he's falling over, the first thing I need to do is make him aware. You're falling over, dude. And I'm not going to do it by saying it. I'm going to do it by narrowing his base. And now all of a sudden he stops chopping so he doesn't fall over. I want him to feel that because making those minute corrections is what motor development is about. Self-correction is how we advance a stage. There's two books out there. One's called The Talent Code and one's called Talent is Overrated. We are literally going to put you at the edge of your ability in a rich sensory environment.